this, what we're gonna have to do is, we need to evaluate, right, by using logarithms. So up here it says five raised to what number gives me 75? Well, five times five is 25, and five times five times five is 125. So I'm gonna have some kind of fraction in there if I'm gonna try to evaluate log base five to the, uh, 75. Same thing for five Q, or log base five of three. Well, since three is smaller than five, and you know, I, there's gonna be some fraction in there if I'm gonna try to evaluate it. So I need something either, you know, and it says I can't use a calculator, so you're seeing me right now with no calculator. So what can I do? Well, the only other things we've talked about is properties of logarithms. And whenever I have a subtraction property logarithm, I know I can use my condensing to condense it to one single logarithm. So let's write this as one single logarithm of division. So I can write log base five of 75 divided by three. Now this is very helpful because now, since this is inside my function of law, of my logarithm, I can take 75 divided by three, which is 25. So I have log base five of 25. Now this is a lot easier for me to evaluate, isn't it? Five raised to what number gives me 25? The answer is two.